Hello guys, it's Lego Hobbit, and today we are doing the Lego Creator Palace Cinema Review. Set 10232 is 2,194 pieces and is ages 16 and plus. And I got this from, if you haven't seen, Hall Number 11. You can go check that out. So, here we are. Here are the minifigures. And this set is $150. And with that, if you get it now, I think, if you get it, I got it online, but if you get it at the, I think if you get the Lego store, you get this. A little poster. So that's cool. So here are the minifigures. Here's the driver. Not a regular black suit, black pants, and all of these have smiley faces, so I'm not going to deal with the faces. No back printing on the faces, or this. He's got a black cap, too. Here's the little girl. The star, I guess. She's got a purple outfit. Never seen it before. Purple pants, which I've seen. And these came with it, I think they're like tickets, I think. Yellow arms, hands. And this one does that back printing, too. With a bow tie, purple stuff, nice hair piece. And a little back printing. Next we'll look on to this girl. I think this is the mom. She's got a red outfit. Dark red ar arms. And back printing, too. Now we'll look on to the photographer. It's got a beige yellowish cap. It's got a camera. It's got brown pants. It's also got a suit and a tie which comes in some certain sets. No back printing. Now then here's the chauffeur, the guy who works at the booth and popcorn stands. It's got this nice um White white lines and a red bow tie, white pants, no back printing, just front printing. Here's the male um, guest. He has this suit with a keychain, like a rich person. With this, I never seen this hair. I've seen this hair piece, but a different color. I've never seen this orange-ish color before. It's got. Two hundred dollar bills, no back printing. Oh wait, there is some buttons. Uh, here are the little um, railings, I think, that the video figure holds on over here. Keep people away from the stars. Put them right over there. Here's the limousine. And I think there are no stickers on this either. Here's the other side of it. Got the wheels. Steering wheel. And the minifigures can fit in here. This is where the girl sets. This is where the driver sets. Some windows. Just a front look at it. Headlights. Here's the back of the red lights. Here's the bottom. That's it for that. Here are all the, get a bunch of um, extra pieces too, I'm not going to count them, but close to like 10 or 20 extra pieces. Here are the booklets, book at 1, 2, and 3, now the back is something different, well not this one, here's the back look at that, this one shows this eagle set, just promotion. Go set promotion. Now this one got more creator sets. In the town hall. That's it for the instruction booklets. Now we'll take the side view of this. There are these. Um, get these lights too. Get two of them. The other one. 
And here are some movie posters. Okay, Mystery of the Monorail, this is Forever Sorting. And when the Brick Show did a video of this, they said that they, the people who designed this, Jordan and Astrid, they took their names. Staked it in their names. And the brick separator, I think they did that because in the set, you do get a green separator. And I'm used to the or the new orange one. I've never seen a green one before. It's the only set you can get in. Got these Chinese patterns. Here's the front. These move up and down. <coughs> Sorry about that. Even the Hollywood, um, like Hollywood, they're not stickers, and I'm kind of happy that they're not stickers. They got this tile pattern, get a light post right here. Ooh, well, that takes off, but I just wanted to move that for a quick second. To get more of these lights, and these do turn down either way. Get some lights right here, too. Got these profile brick patterns. You hear the what's playing. Three clicks of a snap. Other side of that. The other side of that. And this says palace on both sides. Which here's the row of lights right here, lights right here. If I can sneak in under here somehow. If I can sneak in somehow. Let's see lights somehow. <coughs> so that's how you can get that. Where you get a lot of gold pieces and dark tans, which have been seen in this set in the Sydney Opera House. Here are this Chinese thing. Get these spikes. These are like Sorry about that, you might hear a lot there in the video, but but these I've only seen in Ninjago sets a little bit. I've seen that piece, that piece. Here this this red thing right here. I don't know what it's called, but here's the other one of that. That spikes right here, which do turn. Uh, take a back look of it. Here's another back look of it, too. Now we'll look at the, up on the third floor, this little um, door right here, which comes up to these stairs. I'm going to do that in a minute, I'm just, right now, I'm not. But this are, is really cool for star motion, if you like put a gun person right there. <coughs> and you like, um, you can like put a person right here and like shoot guns out of it and stuff. So this is a really cool set if you need it for stop motions. Here's how this works for the functions. You can like put a minifigure. Some people are seeing reviews of this and they never did this before, but you can actually like hide a minifigure in right here. So that's really cool. And you could like you could like do a party right here. Like you could you can make your own tables and stuff and you can like put them on the top. Like make a outside movie theater, like right here. You can get a bunch of chairs right here and all that. Now we'll take all the roofs off and we'll go into the first one. And it's a modular, so these do come off. Wow. Here's a back of what the this palace thing looks like. More gold pieces up here. So here's this. Got some Got some lights right here, three of them, plant, stairs, railing, got our con concession stand, popcorns, candies, and drink dispensers, and like soda bottles. I like the blue tiles, and these are like some candy and stuff. Over on this one, <coughs> the cash register, which these are printed right here. And these are like some glass pieces, get another plant. 
And if you go up the stairs, which here's the worker, you can, you can fit a bunch of minifigures, like two or three. Here's the lady. Can go up the stairs. Now we'll go on to the second one. Second roof. This leads up to the next floor of where the movie theater takes place. You get six chairs right here, which are able to fit a minifigure. I'll use the photographer as an example. And you can fit all the minifigures from the set in here. And these are like these like can recline back if they like need to take a rest or something. So that's pretty cool. Here is the thing that you use to, um, here's the movie, well, what's playing, starring minifigure, right here, so that's pretty cool. Here's another look at it, here's some more glass windows, and this little chair for the, I don't know, he's in the other floor. But here's the camera, which can take off. That's a lot of unique pieces to it. It can turn wherever it wants to, too. And here are the stairs. These stairs from the one we just looked at. Some railings go up to the next stairs, which goes right where we started at. Which they start right at the top, which is this close to. So that is your review of the Lego Palace Cinema. It's really much to it. And in the future, I'm probably going to get most of the modulars. I'm going to save up money and stuff. I want to see here. So it's a pretty cool set. Oh, and here's a look at the box, too. I forgot to do that. Here's a look at the box right there. So... And these are all the ones. I'm thinking of getting the pet shop next, but I wanted to get the Grand Aquarium. Here's other looks at it. What else can be done inside of it? I really like the walkway. It comes with it too. This is the only modular that comes with um. It's an only mod. It's the only modular that comes with. Vehicle, what is he right there? So that's pretty cool. Well, that is your review on the Lego Creator Palace Cinema. So, please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks.